get it going, man. I'm about to start it recording. I bet. FNG shit. Shout the whole day, though. Shout the bro, Trey Boogie. We slide. <laughs> Sliding in the rental, trying to run the milli up. In the southeast, trade boogie, been a plug. Rubber bands on the blues, hella panoramic views. If you get into it with the squad, you can never lose. Uh, uh, it's on the flow like yellow rider. I got your vibe on the toes like nail polish. In the city, we get respected from everybody. You about to pull up on trade boogie, now let's chop. If you talking about the game, let's chop it up. If you talking about the hustle, let's chop it up. If you talking about the ground, let's chop it up. Talking about the fly ride, baby, let's chop it up. The game, let's chop it up. If you talking about the hustle, let's chop it up. If you talking about the ground, let's chop it up. Talking about the fly vibes, baby, let's chop it up. Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. We just gonna get into doing? it. We're gonna Without get into it. What's up with you, man? Not much. How about you, my man? Good, good, good. Hey, thanks for joining the platform. Thanks for you know letting me get a few minutes of your your night. Yeah, of course, man. You. Thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. Well, let's jump into it, man. For the ones that don't know you on my platform. Introduce yourself to him. Oh, uh, man, you know, I'm uh, I'm LJS. You know, I'm from Long Island. And uh, I got to say, I just started rapping probably about two years ago. A little, little, maybe a little bit over. Um, but, yeah, yeah, so that's, that's kind of a little bit about me. That's right. And before we go any further, you know, I always got to give props to my man, DJ Immortal in Canada. You know, that's my mm -hmm. brother in Canada. And, of course, we got to give a shout-out to MJ of MJ Hip Hop Connect. You know? Yeah, yeah, without a doubt. She's awesome. She she helps me out with a lot of things. Like there's always reminders and stuff. Um but she, with, with whatever questions I have, she's always there, which is dope. That's what's up. Yeah, she's a good person. Four time winner, award winner. You know yeah. I mean? Yeah. I'm trying to get like her, man. You know, I'm finally award nominated. You know? Oh so, no shit. Yes, sir. So That's I'm trying to get like her though. <laughs> So yeah. let's, 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 you said you just started rapping um, a couple years ago. What what were you up to before rapping? Uh, mainly just playing hockey. Uh, I want to say I played for about 10 years before I stopped. Um, and then I had gotten a bunch of, bunch of concussions, which kind of like fucked me up. And um, from there, I just, I was kind of in a stuck position with not knowing what to do or where to go in life and shit. So I just started writing and eventually it kind of just, uh, you know, I guess it just fell into place. Hmm. That's what's up. Hockey, huh? Yeah, yeah. That's the big man's game right there. No. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm a little guy, you know what I mean? I'm <laughs> I, I wanna say I'm about five eight, uh maybe one sixty. You know, I'm not I'm not the biggest, but I'm not afraid to uh you know, I'm not I'm not afraid to do my job and get a win for the team. That's right. That's right. who are, who were some of your musical influence? Um Definitely Eminem. Eminem, I, I listened to Eminem when I was five. That's when I first got ever introduced into rap. Um, Hobson was a, is a huge one for me. NF. Uh, I like Kevin Gates a lot because he's very creative. And, um, you know, just the OGs. Nas, Big East, uh, Tupac, um, DMX. Just a, a whole bunch, a whole, uh, just a whole var variety of people. That's what's up. You mentioned Eminem, and um, I could, I could, I could hear the influence he had on you in your in your track, um, verbal psycho uh, psychosis. Yeah, uh, yeah. Like, you know, that's what's up. A little bit. Yeah, so, like I think that was that was probably the third song I like I ever wrote. I ever like actually put together. I was actually listening to Big Pun, and uh, I heard the Beware beat, and uh, I brought it up to my producer, and I was like, Hey, you know, can you? maybe try to make a beat similar to like similar to this or something like I have something written down and um he said yeah fuck it and uh at that time all I was listening to was Eminem so it was kind of like you know but I really I really tried not to I try not to sound like him I try to sound like myself but you know the inspirations will come out right now I know you did a um, a track a while ago you know one of your first tracks I believe right Lucifer part one yeah, yeah, that's on that, SoundCloud. Yeah, it's on SoundCloud. So, you guys want to hear it? You could go to SoundCloud and check it out. Is there a part two? Um, uh, you know, when I when I came out with that, like I showed a few people before I released it, and they were like, "Dude, that's dope! Like, you got to make a part two. Like, I like everything you did with it." And um, I want to eventually. 
I just need to, ah, I feel like I need the right beat or I, I need to be in the right mind state for another track like that. Now, LJS, you know, what does that stand for? Uh, so growing up, LJ was always my nickname. Uh, it started a little bit before I moved away for hockey. Um, but it really blew up in hockey because it was always like there was two Joes on the team. There were me and uh, some other guy who was a lot older than I was. And um, he, he was known as Big Joe. And I was, I was always Little Joe. And uh, to shorten it, they always said LJ. But uh, it, it stands for Little Joe Stacy's. But I don't like being referred to as like a little rapper because I feel like, you know, they're all microwave rappers or whatever. So I kind of just, I like the initials. That's right. And I know you, you your, EP, your um, EP just came out, correct? On uh, September 9th. Yeah, yeah. How, how's that going? Tell us about it. Um, I think it's doing well. Mm. I don't really... Uh, I don't really look at how many people listen to my stuff. I don't, I don't really look at stats. I don't really um, – I, I try not to just because I'm that person that will get in my head. So if I don't see it the way I want to see it going, I'll, like, I'll get discouraged and I'll take a little break. Um, so I, I kind of just stay away. You know, I kind of like let – I guess let everything fall into place. That's right. Like you said, two years ago you started taking your music serious. What, what's been going on? You got your EP out. Mm -hmm. I know you had other singles you released. Uh, um, yeah. Crash Lab, you know. Uh, tell us about Crash Lab. Um, that was actually pretty cool. My, uh, my producer sent me the um, – originally it was going to be a cypher that my producer was doing. And then he was like, you know what, you don't have a single out yet, and I feel like this might – this might be a good time to get you started a little bit. So uh, he, he had sent me the beat and he says, you know, it's going to be a cypher or whatever. And eventually he's like, you know what, just keep it, just keep all the vocals, keep the beat and we'll drop it as like your first single as like your first introduction. And um, so what I had written down for the cypher, I kind of deleted just cause that was going to be like my first, you know, main entrance. And um, I kind of like uh, wrote something I, I thought was better. And uh, you know, from there it's kind of just, um, yeah, I mean that's 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 pretty much it about that track. But it was cool. It was a, it was a nice time. That's what's up. I gotta give a shout out real quick. To, you know, we got a legend watching. Battle Loco is on is on watching. Big love, Battle Loco. But yeah, so in, in your EP, you know, uh, mm -hmm. verbal psychosis. You know, uh, you got some tracks on there, man. Let's talk about the EP and, and where they can yeah. listen to it and get it from. Yeah, man. So. um you know, the EP is Audio Psychosis, and it uh, consists of five different tracks. Uh, you know, I kind of, like, tried to vary it up a little bit. You know, two songs aggressive. Um, one kind of laid back song, a song strictly for hockey players. Um, and even, uh, you know, e even some of the people that I showed that I used to play hockey with didn't understand some of the references, which I thought was cool because I love lyricism. I love wordplay. I like making people confused, and I like having them ask questions about the song because it, it shows me that they really uh listen to it but um and then you know you got another song on there and that's just strictly bars so like the two the two angered kind of tracks are i want to say ver verbal psychosis and hate you the um the one after that is rap like and that's more you know lyricism that uh you know and after that you have be careful who you trust you know a lot in life i've been backstabbed a lot of like my close friends always turned on me and um you know so I kind of made that track. And then the hockey song was We Up. A lot of, lot of hockey references, a lot of double entendres. And, mm -hmm. um, yeah, that, that, that's pretty much it. A lot of people's favorite was Verbal Psychosis, though. Yeah. yeah. That was the go-to. That was, a, you know, I listened to, I was listening to him today again. You know, you, you got some bars, man. Thank you. Know? you. Got some yeah. bars. Where, have you been doing any shows? Uh, where have you been performing at, you know, and, and where can your fans see you next? Um. Well, I haven't really done anything in the past month, two months maybe. I um, I performed not too long ago over at Shakers in Long Island. That's uh, that's an that's over in Oakdale, but currently I'm in Ohio right now. I just gotta take care of some personal stuff. Um, right. but I'm I am looking for like open mics or like you know bars that have something like that over in Ohio. So uh, you know maybe maybe somewhere in Ohio. I'll definitely post it up once I know like a set location or like. Something like that, but um, but yeah, I definitely want to get back on stage. It's it's awesome being up there. You just it, the only time you performed was 
in state or have you been out of state performing or you um, looking to do that? Yeah, I've been out of state performing. Uh, I performed in Massachusetts, New Hampshire, uh, Connecticut, and um, well, New York too. Uh, but yeah, I, I am looking to, you know, maybe go on tours or whatever, maybe eventually headline like that. That that's something I'm definitely interested in doing. But personally, I feel like I need to work on my stage presence a lot more before that ever happens. Yeah, hey, that's smart you say that because you know a lot of artists don't don't understand how important that is. Oh, it's extremely important. Extremely important. And and I'll see it with myself. Like people will come up to me and say, Oh, good show, you know. And um in my head I'm like, nah, I fucked up this line. I did this, I did this wrong. And um I don't like being like that. I like to have it like almost perfect, even though it's never gonna go perfect, but I like to have it close to. That's right. Well you, your EP been out since September. Are you just letting that ride for a few, you know, for a little bit? Or are you in the studio now still working? Um, I haven't been in the studio much, but, you know, I've been writing. I've been, um, I'm trying to make my own beats. I want to get into production a little bit and, uh, you know, try to experiment with different things. But uh, I plan on coming out with a few more songs, without a doubt. But I wanted to kind of, like, let the EP ride out for a little bit, maybe till like, the end of the year, and then probably drop something in January. That's right. I I saw you um uh, you getting airplay in Canada, right? On ninety seven point seven Outlaw Radio FM, right? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's what's up, man. I'll yeah, that was that, that was definitely cool to see. I mean I remember um when I the first the first song I dropped, I remember getting an email um from a station out in like Germany, I think, or <clears> somewhere <throat> in Europe. And they uh they were saying that they were playing my song. And I was like I was like a little kid in a candy store, just big ass smile on my face because I, I honestly never thought that something like that could happen. But it's it's definitely cool to see. What's up? Well, I want to ask you too, you know, for your fans, you got some fans on here watching. So, mm-hmm. <laughs> excuse me. Tell your fans three things about you, man, that they may not know. Um, honestly, I'm a pre- I'm a pretty open book. You know, I like to keep it real with people. But um, let's see. Three things that they may not know. Um, I suck at basketball, even though I say I'm, like, good and stuff. I like to talk a lot of shit. You know what I mean? Um, Let's see. Number two. Uh, Man. I don't know, because they they know me pretty well. Um, Let's see. I'm better than uh, I'm better than Dom at Call of Duty. I know he's in the chat, and I saw him. I think I think he was typing. He's probably going to hit me up after this. Um, and, uh, let's see, you know, I love, I love to stay at home. I love to stay at home. They, uh, they probably know me as like an energetic person or very outgoing, but I love, love staying at home. I love keeping it to myself. That's what's up. That's what's up. So you said, um, one thing I I wanted to talk about was how to pronounce where you from, man. How do you pronounce that? How do how do you think it's pronounced? It's I asked, all right, yeah, a lot of people say it like that. It's uh patch of. Yeah, I was nah, yeah, it's all good. It's all good. I think somebody I, I was talking to somebody when I was in uh because I used to play in Canada for a bit over in um Vancouver Island, and um, so one of the kids was like, <clears throat> he did not pronounce any of the letters correctly, and I was like, how in the hell? Like, I mean, he was you know he was uh he was feeling uh good that night we'll just keep it at that he was feeling a little good that night and uh he saw the word and i'm like dude like are you are you okay and he started we just started laughing but i think i don't even know how the fuck he pronounced it i forgot but yeah. but yeah it's uh patch Oak. hey i was close i was close. i was trying to practice all day yeah <laughs> it's I, all at good first i said uh Pachogi and <laughs> yeah yeah that's what a lot of people say a lot of people say Pachogi just because it, it ends with the ue yeah. um but yeah, no, it's definitely definitely a weird word. It was hard to spell growing up. I always had to ask somebody. Yeah. Sure. Well, you you got your EP out that's been out since September 9th. If y'all ain't heard it or seen it, go go check it out. Um, he'll let you know where to get it in a minute. But I want to talk about um your merch. You got merch also, mm-hmm. right? So uh yes. Know what you got going on with yeah. your merch and how they could get your merch. Uh, you know, so if you go on my Instagram, I believe there's a link. Uh, I think it's like a link tree or something. I haven't updated it in a, in a little bit just because I've been like super busy with other stuff. Um, but, you know, there's uh, sweatshirts. There's a shirt on there. 
Uh, I know there's phone cases. I think there's like a coffee mug, but um, you know, I plan on coming out with like pants and stuff. And I, I, I have some other ideas that I want to work on before I like, I really get it going. If that makes sense. Like this is kind of like a startup, like little something, but um. But yeah, so if if you guys do want to get anything or at least check it out, it it is on my uh on my Instagram under the uh under the link tree. From there you can see the Apple, Spotify, um what else? And uh I think it's t-shirts or something. I, I forgot, Teespring. I think it's like a Teespring website kind of thing. Um okay. but yeah, yeah, if anybody wants to go there and check it out, that that's that'd be awesome. Definitely on the right path, you know. You 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 got your EP out, you got your merch, you, you connected with MJ. You yeah, know, you're on the right path, man. You're on the Thank right you. path, and I wish you nothing but the best and success with Jay. You know? Thank you, my man. I appreciate this, that. We'll talk at this time. Let them know where they could find you know how to follow you, how to find uh, what your your SoundCloud, your Spotify, whatever. You know, give them all your hookups. Yeah. So my uh, my Instagram is LJS Official. My Twitter is LJS Official One, and uh, my Facebook is Joseph Stacy's. I kind of just kept that regular, uh, and I actually don't know my SoundCloud. Um, after that song, I made a vow not to release another song on SoundCloud, just because I don't want to be known as like a SoundCloud rapper. Um, but I think it might be LJS. Uh, I think it's going to be. I think it's like something LJS Records, um, something like that. I'll probably put it in my. Put it in my bio at some point. Hey, just follow, get on his um, Instagram. It's yeah. LJ, at LJS Official and follow mm -hmm. him. So, is there anything we didn't talk about, I didn't mention, you want to promote that we didn't cover? Um, get up out of here? No, nah, that's that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it, man. Thank you for having me. You know what I mean? Hey, you, you come out with your next, you know, album or EP or your single, get at me. And we'll get you back on again, man. Without a doubt. With my all with pleasure, bro. Thank you. Any shout outs you want to give real quick before you go? Yeah. Uh, you know, shout out to all my fans watching this. You know, I appreciate the support and you know, I appreciate y'all checking in and shit. Um, shout out to B Divine, my producer who uh produced the EP. You know, super dope dude. Um, there's really good work, you know what I mean? Um and definitely shout out MJ, without a doubt, with the amount of work she does and how helpful she is with everything. We'll talk, man. Hey, I appreciate you coming on my platform and chopping it up with me tonight, man. Let me man, do this again soon. Without a doubt, the pleasure's all mine, man. Appreciate you. Hey, it's your big homies, big homie Trey Boogie, and this is Let's Chop It Up. I holla. Yeah. FNG shit. Shot the whole day, though. Shot the bro Trey Boogie. We slide. Uh, sliding in the rentals, trying to run the milli up In the southeast, Trey Boogie been a plug Rubber bands on the oh, blue, hella panoramic I appreciate music. everybody, I appreciate everybody never lose, uh, uh, It's on the flow like yellow rider I got your vibe on the top